and we are live another reaction another review to the going to react to grippy by j cole and cash cobain without further ado let's get into it let's do this she like my kick game and when you meet on kick game i put her front row to nick game now she in my phone with a nickname it's 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 mm. grippy yeah. grippy grippy I call her that cause it's grippy She thinking that if she a hippie And she thinking the lips she gon' lick me And she sending a flip when she hit me With a kissing emoji she miss me When she see me she said she gon' strip me She gon' chew on this stick like it's Okay most of the time I've just had Okay what made me react to this is I've had the S X up in the beginning Like maybe the first 12 seconds And it felt like it was bad But it's not really that bad Considering like You people are just of a um, it's playful. Like most of the time, art is playful. It's not really that uh, deep. It's not really that serious. Sometimes it's playful. Sometimes it's playful. It's <laughs> Wrigley's. Believe it or not, like Ripley's. She says she's gay until I slay. Now she's Wrigley. Okay, so some lines are, uh, but yeah. Page, I'm on the way, and I'll be showing up quickly. On the highway, I'm doing 150. Like, I gotta get you up out of the Vickies. Like, so good, I just had an epiphany. It's grippy and wet. You know I'm a vet, but you're making me feel like a rookie. How you made me tap out so swiftly, but I'm back for the second round victory. <laughs> I remember I saw you on Fifth Ave with your homie Sabrina and Tiffany. I was thinking, like, damn, your whole click bad, but I wanted your body specifically. Like, I'm trying to see how that glove gonna fit me. Another thing you have to to give props to the guy because the the rhyme scheme and each making sense like storytelling it's crazy because if you just take the last bit and make something like storytelling like this and it makes sense like it flows okay okay like i want to feel like i'm touching your kidneys mm -hmm. Like, I'm gonna send all your kids to Disney. <laughs> Pay a little extra, make sure they meet Mickey. <laughs> she what? She what? She a grippy. She what? She what? She a grippy. That's me. I'm trying to give you the best of me. I want to get a like recipe. Feel like I'm just like it was a recipe. Like, Shanti, I want to make you a mommy. You look good as a redhead, dreadhead, black hair, pink hair. It's a bob. And it's not really that serious when you think when you when you when you look at it. It it doesn't have that deep. It's not that rigid, that deep that you you had to you have to sit down with a paper and a pen and try to analyze what's happening. It's playful. It's uh, it's 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 the replayability. They're really focusing on the replayability value more than the content, because you can really sing along to this even just listening to it like three times. You can really get the lyrics to it. So yeah. <laughs> so you can see the 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 contrast be between J Cole and the dude called Cash, because J Cole did his all verse with the same rhyme scheme, like just repeatedly from the grippy situation, uh, and Mickey and Kidney and everything. But you see, like him, maybe the first eight bars, and then the next eight bars, he didn't have a direction. And this, he's not really, he's doing random random things on the verse, not a storytelling situation. So you all can say that J. Cole was really, has really fallen off with this track, but you're really just posting the first 12 seconds of the whole song, which is not, it's not really that bad. It's not bad, actually. China, you gotta go to China. I gotta <laughs> find ya. I gotta hit one more time to remind ya. Hey, damn. Naya, you the quiet, you the shy one. I wanna have a mind up that I won't pass on your with Naya. Damn, bro. Tony, I know that shit macaroni. I wanna be one of the homies. Get rid of that. Don't be acting phony. Like, Oni, you the opposite of Pony. Can't you ride it like a pony? Ever you want it, mommy, you can call me. Like, TNT, I wanna have us a 3D, make it a movie. DVD, all of us got our phones. 
phones all D&D Like damn, take the freak, that's a knee Next to you, I got a B&B Polishers like the eatery, none of these others ever seen me Marty, Marty I don't wanna talk about money I don't think that I Okay, um, his flow, he's not really flowing as good as J. Cole was flowing. Okay, I've never really listened to Cash, and no offense if I'm trying to take us. Uh, <laughs> you people can be mean in the comments. I'm not trying to start uh, something that I'm not finishing. I'm just saying, like, J. Cole was flowing better on the beach than, yeah, than Cash. I just talk about money. I'm gonna talk about money. You push my dog like a patty. Kick it so for your body. I wanna put it all in your body. Wanna get in your jaw, so my so let my so in your body. I got a different talk. If I say that he don't want you, then he gets lotty. Like damn. Mm I got something I must confess. I wanna see you get undressed. For sure. I'm about to see you my address. And when I talk, I'm just figuring out, can't forget about Millie. I wanna get body till you dizzy. I'm about to call your phone, so come get with me. No, you don't drink. Can you sit me? I want your face. You so pretty. I got a thing for you. I want to eat your body like a 10 piece damn. Like a 10 piece McNugget, baby, for sure. For sure. Okay. Okay. As I said, like, J. Cole flow flow was better than cash like cash felt it felt a little bit rigid i don't know what he was trying to push like i don't know i don't know <laughs> i'm trying to say something but i'm trying to push it in the politest manner as possible i feel like people didn't like this song because of this of this of when cash came in i don't know who cash is maybe i'll start i'll start listening to his music but Maybe he tried to do that to, to flow like f from the moment J. Cole because J. Cole set the pace with the intro and the hook so he had to take that and still maintain the flow of the track but I really feel like J. Cole's flow was better. It was really... It was digestible more than the second beat. It felt... It felt forced. I feel like people didn't like the song because not because of J. Cole, but because of Cash. <laughs> Y'all can come in the comment section and yeah, but I just have to say it. Well, when you're talking about the couch content, it's just it's just some atmospheric, um, is it a pad? And some hi-hat trolls, some drums. I've not had an intro, it is just, it's just a simple uh, truck. As I said, it's not that serious. It's playful in nature. J. Cole gave you gave you 2014 Forest Hills Drive. I mean, that's enough, man. I mean, let let the guy <laughs> let the guy enjoy himself. And to Cash, I feel like maybe he is better in other tracks, but I feel like he didn't have the when you compare the two. J. Cole was like storytelling, and at the same time, the rhyme scheme was flowing like. He was saying the same, he, the rhyme scheme was the same, but at the same time, it was like he was storytelling without going. And as I said, as I said before, I, <laughs> I listened to Cash that it's very weird that I'm a, it, it's just very, it's a very strong kind of artist to write something and it just flows the same rhyme scheme. He's not changing words. And then cash came and as you can see he crashed sort of because he was trying to maintain the pace that j cole had set and it was really the first eight bars and then after that he had to change everything but at the same time now it feels like the the flow was starting to get rigid somehow if that was the word i can use that's what i can get from the track i mean yeah 
If you like the video, like the video. Peace out.